What was the hardest step in your process so far? Getting the first design always. So how do you make a bug exhibition so exciting and so rich with ideas and thoughts and fun that it brings children and parents alike. Why did you choose the word lab? What we've tried to do here is create an environment where the bugs are teaching us. So we've entered the world of the bugs and they've created a laboratory where we can come and learn, we can experiment, we can experience the joy of what bugs can share with us. How many times did you practice before making the actual um, sculpture? That's a that's a really interesting question because we do practice. Our team have to learn to do this. We used a thing called photogrammetry a great deal where we actually went and got real bugs. But then we had to shave them because bugs have hair all over them. And when you take a photograph of a hairy bug, you can't get the right level of information. So we shaved them with a tiny little razor. And you're talking about things smaller than the tip of a pin and then we photograph them hundreds of times and that creates a digital model. But then we still have to sculpt into it. What sort of materials did you use to make the bugs? It's unbelievable how many different materials went into here. But a big challenge for us when you build exhibitions is everything has to meet a fire rating. Everything has to be safe. But we use fiberglass and plastics and urethanes and fabrics and screen printing and 3D printing, milling machines and aluminium and on and on and on and on it goes. There's so many LEDs and this exhibition has literally thousands and thousands of those to create all of the illumination that you see around you.